are all stainless steels created equal. We have a 400 series stainless steel from Climtech that we're gonna break test and talk about the differences between stainless steels. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to a Bolt Buster episode where we're gonna talk about the 400 stainless steel series climbing hanger from Climtech. Now this actually doesn't look like a stainless steel hanger because if you compare these two, this is a much dull, duller hanger. This is a fixed hanger, that's 316 L hanger, and they have a 304 stainless. And most places have a 304 or 316 stainless. 316 is more corrosion resistant than 304, by the way. But 400 is actually less corrosion resistant than 304. And if I'm wrong, put that in the comments below. I could be. An interesting fact is we don't know if this is a 400 series stainless, but that's the rumor on mountainproject.com. It's not labeled on their website. It's not labeled on here. All it says is 22 kilonewtons, which is actually pretty low for a hanger. Why did, we, why did they make it? If you know why they make it, put that in the comments below. But anyways, we think this is a 400 series because we saw it on Mountain Project and anything on mountainproject.com is fact, especially when I put my opinions on there. So the interesting thing about 400 stainless, 400 series, is it's magnetic. And my magnet kind of sucks, but it does stick. This is a magnetic metal, whereas the 316L is not magnetic at all, even with my crappy magnet. The other interesting thing, which I'm very excited to see in this brake test, is how it breaks. Because a 316L and 304 breaks like taffy. It turns into basically what I imagined with taffy if you were to pull it and then snaps. Whereas this may not deform as much before it breaks and might act more like aluminum in the fact that it just kind of. So let's find out and let's test it on our bolt buster slab here in my backyard. I missed that. In case you can't tell the difference between a red camera and a iPhone 11, we are actually filming this with Mark Payton on a red camera to see if we can improve the quality of some of these videos. So make sure you leave in a comment below if you like that as well. We're gonna have Google Forms on slackline.com asking your opinion about how we can make these episodes better because in 2021, we really wanna double quality. Because look how much stretching happens, right? It's really interesting to see visually what happens during the process and not just the final number. We'll see what at what point these deform. It could be anywhere between four and eight kilonewtons. And that's what we're here to find out is kind of how the metal reacts on this stuff. dead Isaacs or kill a Newton uh, it's about the same taffy shape oh what do you think Bobby I think we may have been wrong about it being 400 stainless it may have just uh, like a different well no it was it's way magnetic. more magnetic it's yeah way more magnetic yeah yeah like the grain structure looks a little bit different which it, it would if it was a different material yeah this is 316 and this is 400 well that's nice to know that it's 50 percent stronger than they say it is yeah let's break the other ones and see what happens i don't know if we'll be able to get this through just because the teeth are still sharp even though um, you got on the other one yeah the teeth weren't sharp though keep going keep going oh there we go And yes, we're probably compromising the bolt, but if the bolt doesn't break, it doesn't matter. <laughs> 37? Wow! Seven kilonewtons. That is crazy. Um, it's only rated for 22, and uh, I'm filming you filming me. 
Say hi to Mark, guys. Uh, I don't think Climb Tech actually manufactures these anymore. We actually got these from Greg Barnes from the ASCA, American Safe Climbing Association. He sent us a lot of stuff and we're just now getting to it. Okay, so 37 kilonewtons is amazing. It's consistently super strong enough, and they don't make it anymore. Whatever. I don't know if it's whatever. Let us know why. Um, I realized I have the stainless steel version of 25 kilonewton MBS from Climbtech. Pretty much the exact same thing. So we're going to test these three hangers real quick and compare them with the super strong 400 series hangers. So. Uh, stick with us for just a few more minutes. Here, just test them all at the same time. <laughs> um, Is that redundancy? Well, and it also uh, lessens the rope bend. Wow. Bend I think we just invented something. Yeah. And there you go. You got tri uh, triple redundancy right there. Cool. All right. So this is entered. Okay, so we put all of the data on our bolt buster chart, which you can actually find on slackline.com. So if you want to see we're at sample 328, you can just go through and see everything we've ever broken. And we also, on slackline.com, have the folder tree for every single test. So if you're like super nerdy and really want to see something specific, you don't have to wait for us to put together episodes. We've probably made episodes for on less than 20% of the tests we've done so far. Throw, throw a Newton on there. Nice. This slow-mo is hilarious. Not bad for an old phone. <laughs> Bobby, they got pills for that. Do they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that's sure what, they do. That's what I'm told. Um, <laughs> so we had our, our hole fail, actually, the, the bolt hole interface. Um, which I believe this is either the third or fourth time we've um, taken it up to 30 or 40 kilonewtons and then put another Titan back in this hole. So, um, I mean, I'm not super surprised that the hole failed, but it failed at 36 kilonewtons. Is there still life? What? There's not much life left in this. Yeah, I think we drill another hole and... Um, ah, we got two more. Check this out. It's so thin right here. Wow, it's kind of doing the same thing. It's got this mark right here where the carabiner is pushed up against it pretty badly. But yeah, 36. Let's find out what they uh, actually break up. So these broke the way they're supposed to, and both at 36 kilonewtons. So pretty much the same. Put in the comments below the, about the different metals, and please don't just copy the Wikipedia page. Like something that I can like condense and put into the Bolting Bible when we make a page about this episode, it'll be in the book of numbers. We will include uh, some of the top comments in there and different people's opinions on what these actually are if we are wrong about them and about the different metals, why they discontinued them, and all that information. Uh, we're just super excited about breaking them and kind of getting you guys involved in that process. Be sure to go to slackline.com and 
Let me know about what you want to see in these videos more. Thank you, Mark, for filming me and the fancy camera that he has. So nice to not hold my hand out right now. And uh, yeah, give us lots of feedback because we do want to make these better for you. We want to make the Bolting Bible and the other eBooks really awesome for you guys. Thank you for sticking with us to the end and don't forget to smash that like button. Can I touch your lens, Mark? <laughs>